Hello, Brother Manu here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And today, um, a user scenario sent in by Soviet Husky, uh, who's also live in the Twitch chat, and has already reminded me that it wasn't just a battleship. It was a, it's a battleship and five destroyers, France, 1936, against Italy, 1928. So got a decent tech advantage, but they have the numbers. Uh, Three battleships, two heavies, three lights, and 12 destroyers. So there's potentially quite a lot of torpedo spam um, coming out from them. And he wants me to build a Richelieu style ship. So let's go with the modern battleship 2 um, and go for the medium size. Okay, let's see what else fits. Okay. Yeah, I think I can make this work. Right. Do, 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 do. I didn't get a picture. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know roughly what Richelieu looks like. Um... In that you've got the uh, the double quads up front, 15s. And... Uh, what? Of Richelieu? It does look like Richelieu. Can make me load up a French battleship Richelieu. Yeah, looks like a to me. Now then, uh, he replied to for the scenario. Um, do 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 do. Mm, I don't see it. Can you put it in going live on Twitch for me? That'd be super, super helpful. On the Discord server. If you're not on my Discord server, join my Discord server. Um, because it will let you uh, send me scenarios and things like that. Let's go for a double funnel. Um, and... I, re I really like the... Uh, the forward firing stuff and then I believe she also had six inch guns on her secondary armament so one there we go I know you want to fit you want to fit on the side oh boom uh, do, 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 do. I'm guessing it's been posted. Seeing his chat's gone a bit mental about it. Um, oh, oh, I see. <laughs> um, right, so not a historical Richelieu at all. I'm not sure I can do that with a French hull. Where, where on earth is that from? Well, I can do it. Um, so, as to the best of my abilities, now then, um, this is a very different type of ship. <laughs> um, so, you're going to have to explain to me how on earth someone thought this was a good idea, and where it came from, uh, while I try and build this out. Jesus Christ. Uh, yes. The secondary tower is not the right type for that at all. Um, but I'll try. No, that's not doable with UAD hulls as is. Um, 
can do my best approximation of it though. Um, because you've got kind of one gun. What? <laughs> no. Just no. Yeah, because you want me to do a a QR build. I don't think there's a French hull that'll do it. Maybe the modern battleship will. Uh, with this sort of tower at the back. Be a, it's going to be a very strange ship, though. And then... Yeah, I would put the other gun up there, but it won't let me. Make the ship longer. There we go. Go right a bar bit. Wait, which one was the elevated one? The rear turret. Okay. We'll get it in there. Don't you worry. This is unbelievably horrible. Right. Um, uh, Jesus, 82. Okay. So it's a single funnel. Where did your cursed thing have its funnel? At the back. Okay. It uh, doesn't fit at the back. <laughs> the two does, but it's... Yeah. So if I want a three... Stick it right there. Oh my good lord. Just why? I know. Just why? Oh, thank you very much for joining the Discord, um, King Modred. Oh, jeez. Oh. Uh, <laughs> if I wasn't already on meds, this would cause me to have depression. Yeah, probably. <laughs> And then it's got like a six inch gun poking out the back for unknown reasons. Probably one of these. I'm pointing out there's nothing for this to shoot over. It's just on a barbette for no reason. And then it's covered in what I'm assuming are some kind of smaller gun, four inch, okay. Um, sure, we can have a smattering of four-inch guns on it. Why not? That's totally normal. And then, what, two-inch? Oop. There you go. Uh, sure. Right, we've got a little bit of a four weight offset. Which is going to be really hard to fix. I'm going to make an improvement to the design. <laughs> I'm going to stick um, an extra six inch gun on the back. balance this thing very well. Right, maybe move maybe move this gun a little bit. Yeah. 
it won't make too much of a difference. I might be able to shift the tower back a tiny bit. There we go. 1.3%. I can live with that. Maybe if I move the funnel. 1%. Oh my word. Uh this is this is bad. This is very bad. I don't know who on earth thought this was a good idea. And I'm gonna have to make a historical Rishilia now to say sorry to all the people who are screaming in the comments section. Right. Um Can we make this abomination leave the harbour? Um Sure. 27 knots. Uh, let's make sure we can maintain that. I want all the torpedo protection I can get. Uh, explosives wise. Let's go for high TNT standard shells, auto loading, advanced hydraulics. And that leaves me a little bit left for armor and bulkheads. Uh, let's go for many bulkheads and then 14, 7, 6, 3, 5, that's fine. 6. Okay, go a little bit more if we want it. Um, go for a fifteen seven point five again. Okay, uh, seven deck. No, no decks is too much. Six and a half though. And we just shove the rest of the tower armor. Do 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 do. There we go. Uh, design, the guy who designed this ship must have been overdosed. Yes, probably. <laughs> uh, this is just... Why? <laughs> why? Well, there you go. Cursed Richelieu. I hope you're proud of yourselves. <laughs> God. Save the ship design. Sadly, uh, custom battle saves are not a thing yet. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right. Well, I hope the destroyers are decent. Want to place any bets, chat? The Intrepid. Uh, torpedoes. Minimum bulkheads, obviously. Right, okay, fine. You could see it coming a mile off, couldn't you? Right. You lot. Just, yeah, normal. I'm assuming you have a reload. Yes, you do. Yeah, just just fire away. Oh God! Just why? Right, let's go and see what we're dealing with. We have... Uh, okay. Italy not messing around today. Although it's probably cordite minimum bulkheads or something stupid. Um, wow. Okay. Is that a battle cruiser or a light cruiser? <laughs> 
It's a very large light cruiser. Oh no, they, they don't have battle cruisers, do they? So that's either a large, a heavy cruiser or a light cruiser. I can't tell. It appears to be sinking. And then we have some other ships. Another one of those things. Destroyer? I think. Goodness only knows. Oh, we're on fire. Excellent. Should probably turn to uh, avoid the inevitable incoming torpedo attack. Bum, 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 bum. Thanks, Samus. I need to get myself a, an actual proper chair given how much I sit at my computer at the moment. Guys, normal formation. Hello? Don't make me micromanage you. Yep, yeah, they're getting underway. Good, good. Now, of course, we've suffered a target lock, which is completely normal. Um, main guns there. Yeah, nobody wants to come close to this thing. It's hideous. Genuinely hideous thing. Right, let's turn again. The six inch guns, which are more like main guns, to be honest, because of the way this ship is laid out. Getting to work on a light cruiser. At least what I assume is a light cruiser. Really firing like that? <laughs> yeah, that's safe. for the abomination to go away. Yeah, I I, um, I do apologise. Destroyers, why are you trying to torpedo a destroyer, you complete morons? That's not going to hit anything. When I said you could fire, I didn't mean fire at random destroyers that you're never going to hit. Ugh. And it looks like, unlike last time, the AI wants to sit really, really far away and just sit there. Great. Uh, division. Torpedoes. No. Did you just... You did as well. Well, we'll just quietly uh, cruise, because um, I'm attacking bow in, so I can't even fire. <laughs> Deliberately, by the way, because uh, I can save ammunition this way. <laughs> Whilst presenting a minimal target profile. Oh, wow, we did actually torpedo the destroyer. Okay. <laughs> that is actually quite amusing. Uh. 
No, this is just bad. This is just flat out bad layout. Well, what the fuck? Was that one of mine? It was! The Intrepid long range hit whatever that is and it died. Ah, <laughs> uh, long range torpedoes. Don't hit what you want, but they might hit something. Oh, speaking of torpedoes. Turn more. Turn more. Mm, that loop. Yeah, don't swing your ass out too much. Thank you. Continue to push on the uh, enemy destroyers. Poor old uh, Agil. <laughs> Taking an awful lot of fire. There we go. Swapping over to the Fogger. Actually, main guns, there is something you can do. <laughs> we have a target off our port beam. <laughs> oh, my poor old destroyers. <laughs> what? What happened to you? Six inch gun from the battleship. Okay, fair enough. Oh, dearie me. This is an absolutely stupid battle. Down go a couple more destroyers. Ah, more torpedoes incoming. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot more than I was expecting to see. Come on. Come on. Okay, run of my ships. Good morning, um Praetorianus, is that right? Praetorianus thirteen? Good morning, good morning. <laughs> right. Destroy group. You're actually doing a surprisingly good job harassing and falling back. Whilst this, um, I mean, has, is this really a battleship at this point? I mean, it's so unbelievably dumb. <laughs> I mean, it's got enough firepower to do something, I guess. Slowly trying to whittle down their destroyers. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh boy. Ba 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 ba. Job. Might get cross stalked though, which is a bit of an issue. 
Nah, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Can't believe my destroyers are still alive somehow. Smoke. Right, you don't have any torpedoes. You are on a reload. And the others are all really far behind. Just the Britain doing the important work. Why are you firing at those destroyers of all things? Very strange. Oh well. <laughs> it's Soviet Husky's fault. It is Soviet Husky's fault. <laughs> Probably. Where did the original design come from, Soviet Husky? You can talk me through it. So is this an alternate design for Richelieu that was seriously considered at some point? Because it's dumb. Right. Target the Redentador del Mundo over there, would you? Right. Down goes another destroyer. Excellent. Probably so. oh cruisers don't have torpedoes. Well the heavies don't. Torpedoes coming out from the soldato. Uh light cruisers do on the other hand. Okay. <laughs> oh my good lord. Whoa! Torpedo hit on a light cruiser way in the back. Nice job, destroyers. Absolutely doing amazing work. Those light cruisers are a real threat as well. Good stuff. I didn't actually actually have a look at these minimum bulkheads. White powder of all things on the battleships. Good gravy. Right. I don't even know where the enemy fleet, like, is. <laughs> um, so, the reason I don't put Twitch chat on... on Twitch, like... So, if you're watching this on Twitch, you, you, know, you can't see the chat go by as, like, in the game window. It's because UAD is already a very, very, um, oh shit, well I'm going to get hit by one set of those torpedoes, uh, okay, let's keep avoiding those ones I guess, so give me the best chance of avoiding as many of both as I can. I was going to go that way, but that'll just put me in the path of these ones as well. And there's torpedoes coming from over here. Yep. This is the problem when it's one ship versus a whole fleet. I did spring for the torpedo protection, though. What torpedoes are they using? 
21 inch. Okay. Well, oh god. Um, no. Ow. Ow. Yep. Oh, and I've lost rudder control. Excellent. Oh, but the enemy battleship sunk? Okay. Oh my good lord. Yeah, so if I put um, a Twitch chat window here um, on stream, then uh, th there's a lot of visual information. Like, if you click on a ship, like, that's a very cluttered screen. There's enough to look at already. Um, so I do apologize if, uh, if you're used to that from um, other content creators and being able to see the chat on screen. But I think for Ultimate... Uh, I prefer not having it, <laughs> personally, as well. Um, well, there's not much I can do at this point. I'm just going to go around in a circle. See if we can pick out any other targets like that battleship over there. My own destroyers formed a gaggle at the back. Ah, good. Do I have some measure of control over you now? Get back in there. <laughs> oh, more torpedoes. <laughs> Down the torpedoes and get in close. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know what all the fuss is about. I mean, I'm not that close, really. I'm only I'm 12 kilometers away from the enemy battleships. They have a they have a good screening force, you know. And I've got a small destroyer squadron. It's I don't really have anything to punch through apart from using Britannia here. While I'm here, I might as well delete a heavy cruiser or two. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice. Ooh. I was going to call it the Godzilla there, but that's not the right name at all. <laughs> Gorizia. Or Gorizia. Right? There we go. Lovely stuff. Right, let's change direction again. Oh, there we go. Hit on that light cruiser. I'm almost out of ammunition on the six inch guns, which is utterly hilarious. But uh, the Euro is not looking particularly good there. More flooding. Oh, torpedoes, you absolute bastards. Come on. Been zigzagging and everything. Head. No. 
Took one. Just the one, though. Thank goodness for anti torpedo 5. And my destroyers are coming back. Hooray! They even have some torpedoes. And would you kindly not target destroyers and things? Target the Volcano over at the back there. Yeah, can't can't board um, in Dreadnoughts. That's an Age of Sail thing. Right, at least that annoying light cruiser is down with its sneaky, sneaky torpedoes. Right. I notice the Italians are just running away from this one ultra derp French ship of uselessness. What? What? <laughs> My destroyer's torpedoed that one lone destroyer all the way over there. Okay. A little bit harsh. Hey, look, they're just sitting over here. They're not even shooting at me. Oh, they might be now. <laughs> they weren't shooting at me. <laughs> Six inch guns are doing some work. Let's have a look, actually. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> Nearly 5,000 damage out of the six inch guns alone. Mind you, I have nearly exhausted the magazines. <laughs> yeah, I might just let him run away. They're clearly uh, intimidated by the Britannia. Um, they're a lot faster than I am, especially now I'm damaged, so... I'll probably leave the scenario here, but... Cursed... Cursed Richelieu. Surprisingly not terrible. Um, still pretty terrible though. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I, I I would at this point just retreat the uh, retreat everybody because um, we're not going to be able to get the uh, AI to engage. So an end, but not a uh, not a bad show. <laughs> by a ship that is genuinely terrible. Um, don't build ships like this, boys and girls. Um, really not. Really not a good idea. Ugh. Right, let's, let's just leave this accursed thing. Yuck. Anyway, <laughs> if you um, enjoyed in quotes, um, that on YouTube. <laughs> Give the video a like, and I'll try and do something more sensible soon. Anyway, um, that's all for now, and I'll see you soon for some more Ultimate April Dreadnoughts. Yeah, the mains are in the middle. It's very, very bad. It's a QR turret setup with secondaries at the front and back. It's not... I don't like it. I don't like it. Anyway, that was a fun scenario. Um... <laughs> Thanks, Sofiaski. Oh, dearie me. Right, next one. Let's see, who's in chat? Divide War, you're in chat. I'm pretty sure you had a scenario somewhere. Bjorn, uh, you also had a scenario. Uh, so we'll do your one, Bjorn, and then... Um, I'll do yours divide walker because you're you're both actually in chat. Lovely. Okay. The Black Prince returns, it seems. Ah, oh, helps if I actually